Hey guys, it's Stanford here with First Updates Now. Today I'm with Team 9408 here at SoCal Showdown. These guys are pre-rookies, never done an official competition before. They're building an off-season robot, gonna go out there, get some practice. I'm here with Emilio, Millen, Walid, and Andrew. We're gonna go through their intake, their elevator, some of the code they got on this robot. So stay tuned for all that and more in another episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. All right, so first up, I'm going to give it to you, Andrew. So go ahead and take us through some of the stuff that's going on with this intake. Okay, so to start off with this intake, we took inspiration from 973, and so we kind of put our own twist to it. So, um... 12 tooth sprocket connecting to a 45 tooth sprocket and this is driven to a, a gear over here and this is a one to one gear ratio which is also attached to this sprocket right here and this sprocket is a 24 to 24 tooth and this one powers our entire intake so right here this is um we intake our cones from here and we intake our uh cubes down here um yeah this is how it works all right, definitely a very effective intake as we've seen at this competition so far. So next up, I've got Walid. So take us through the next thing on your robot. Um, so for our wrist, um, we have a rib pla mixed planetary gearbox. Um, it's connected to one to one gear ratio here, um, and it's forty two one to one. Um, with this, we move our wrist um, uh, up and down, and at, um counts how much we spin. Um, we also have an angle stopper to bl uh, block our intake from going uh, back to a certain point. And that's it. All right, so for the elevator, we have two Falcon 500 um, powering the elevator. Uh, they are six, um, two, to, uh, two to 60 tooth. Um, that's the gear ratio. Uh, they're being powered by two carriages. So there's one, there's one carriage up here. That's being powered by chain, and then there's there's another one that's um, go up. Yeah, go up. so we have one uh, one for chain, and then we have one for the rope. So the one for the chain is the bigger one, and then our the, the, the smaller carriage is being powered by the rope. So that goes all the way up here, um, and then we we are holding them by bearings, um, by by uh, shoulder bolts, and then we have two supports. So we have one support here and one support here. Um, these supports uh, were also being revised too, so we went through multiple multiple uh, revisions in the CAD, um, and then we also have two triangle supports here and here. And yeah, that's the that's our elevator. And uh, last up, Emilio, take us through what's going on with this uh, code you got over here. Yeah, so my name is Emilio. Uh, I'm a programmer for 9024. I'm sorry, that's the, that's our old team name. We came from the Vets team. Uh, yeah, so we're part of a 9408. So, uh, like, you know, coming from VETS and, like, as a pre rookie season team, we needed to, like, you know, transition from C to Java. So, like, you know, using our mentor's help and, like, you know, me taking, like, you know, AP Computer Science and basing, all, all, like, a lot of our code off of, like, you know, 5A1, uh, we're able to, like, you know, make a, uh, make a system that, like, you know, is really beneficial for, like, you know, our, our robot. Like, you know, uh, the way how like you know we organize our uh, different like you know subsystems, and how we have our different like you know superstructures, so we can have more control over everything. Like have different set points for like you know storing high, medium, and low. And for our, you know our autos, we use uh, like you know an app called Path Planner, which is like an overview for where we can like you know draw out uh, all like you know the different uh, autos that we have, and just like you know be able to plan like you know all of our different things and have an easier way instead of just having to like you know manually write out commands and test things out and uh, I guess like you know just a little cool thing for our auto or I'm sorry for like you know for our programming is that our driver can like you know just press like you know a button and our robot will automatically snap to like you know that degree uh, so that way you know he can easily just like you know have an auto align so that way he doesn't have to like you know manually turn it 
And we also have like, you know, we use a flashlight as well. So that way our driver, like, you know, from further distances, uh, just can see like, you know, aim um, at the thing so that way he can know like, you know, how much he needs to move or where he's at on the field. Uh, so that way he can know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so thank you guys very much for walking us through this robot. Um, definitely watch out for these guys. If these guys can do this in the off season, I don't even want to think about what your official in-season robot's going to look like. So watch out for these guys at Beach Blitz later this off season, and definitely watch these guys next season. Thank you very much, and good luck with the rest of your competition. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you, and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.